Hello everybody and welcome to my up update video. My name is Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Um, in these videos, I go through some, some of the work that I've managed to do this week and uh, I am supported by my users. So first of all, let me thank, thank everybody who continues to support my work on Inkscape. Um, the time that I spend basically making Inkscape better simply wouldn't be possible without the people who subscribe to my Patreon and give generously through LibrePay. Um, thank you all so much. Um, okay, so this week has been really, really, really interesting. So the, the boring stuff, boring, uh, useful stuff is that um, the PDF work is going to be merged in, into Inkscape. I have spent a crazy amount of time trying to fix all of the various issues, both with the, the text and also with masks and also with gradients and also with a few other things. Um, but rather than like just litter through through a bunch of lists of, uh, of bugs that I've managed to squash and, and get this branch finally into shape where it can be merged, um, I, I, I wanted to do something interesting at the start of the week. So I started by trying to actually fix one of the bugs using chat GPT. Uh, this is a this is a basically a an Eliza bot on steroids uh, that tries to predict what the response should be given a particular prompt. And people have been using it for all sorts of things. And I wanted to see if it was possible to use it for programming, specifically for discovery of how APIs work and how libraries are expected to be used. Um, so with the PDF work, I'm using a, a library called libpoplar. It's a common PDF parser that's used by quite a few open source pro projects. Um, but the problem with it is that it doesn't really have documentation. If you want to know how libpoplar works, you, you literally have to read the source code. And so uh, I wanted to know whether ChatGPT had sort of scoured the internet and gathered together enough in information to ask, so I could ask it some, um, you know, some quick questions about like, how does this work and how does that work? And uh, yeah, what I found out was that it's not very good. And it's not very good in a, in a very uh, bad way. It is, it is worse than useless because it is very confident about giving you answers that are definitely wrong. Thank you for joining me for that digression. Um, okay, so let's get into some of the things that have been going on in the Inkscape project in general. We have reached feature freeze, uh, no more features. We have an entire um, new set of um, contributors who are coming in from the Google Summer of Code Camp. They're currently trying to fix a bunch of issues, which is great to see. Um, oh, good luck, everybody. We also have um, some uh, of the PBS multi-threading -thre -thread work was actually merged in, and people are very happy with the improvements to speed. Um, it's been tested on multiple operating systems, and it definitely is improving things, um, especially for just navigating around the can canvas. So great work, PBS. And um, yeah, so there will be a Hackfest. Rene has been organizing a Hackfest in Cologne in Germany, and I will be attending. Um, so I will be actually tr uh, making a trip to Germany in March. Um, so yeah, it's, it looks like a lot of fun. All, all the developers are going to be, be there, and we're going to be able to have be basically sit in a room and, and hack on stuff for a week and uh, have some of the big, big discussions about what, what we want to do for the next ver version of Inkscape. Um, and maybe fi fix some stuff. So that's about it for this week. Thank you all very much for jo joining me again. And um, I'll probably see, see you all next week and see, 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 see what else we've got up to. Today is very, very cold. It is negative 22 degrees C here in Boston. And I've turned the heating off because it makes an absolute racket. So uh, I I'm going to have to turn it back on. Um, Bye.